Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So lately it just seems like we're going to be starting off a lot of videos with no makeup on at all. So what I have got for you today is so exciting. I found it during my trip to Dallas and I can't wait to show y'all. But first we got to play our intro. So while I was in Dallas, I went to the mall in Grapevine and I found a store that I think might be pretty familiar to y'all. Now I did not know that Shop Miss A had stores, but it does. I haven't tried any of the products yet. I've been on that website before, but I've never ordered just because I didn't want to wait for the shipping. I didn't want to pay for the shipping. I'm really stubborn on that stuff a lot of the time. So I went in the store and y'all look how magical it was. store I spent probably like $30 I think but I have a whole bag of makeup I got the bag at the store too I got a partial roll of some interesting brushes that we are gonna test out I got their beauty blender some lashes and I got a little mirror that I'm going to use to do some close-up stuff today. So basically what we're going to do, we've got an entire face of makeup that we're going to do using only the products from Shop Miss A. Everything was a dollar, all of it. So we're going to see how it works. I've seen some videos like this before. They didn't look too encouraging, but we're going to see what I think. So I have everything from primer to eyebrows to basically whatever I could need. I have not taken the plastic off, which was a dumb move on my end. But we are going to start with this makeup and see how we feel. If it doesn't feel like it's going to burn my face off, I may wear it for a few hours and let you all know how it holds up. It's like 2.15 right now, so we could probably get a few hours wear out of this stuff today just to see how it reacts. Most of it is the AOA Studio brand because I've always heard that that's one of the best. And the first thing we're going to try is this Wonder Skin Perfecting Skin Primer. It looks like the Smashbox. Oh, it's gross inside. It looks like the Smashbox but the description sounds like professional. It's really weird though because it almost looks like it has glitter in it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's really thin, really watery, and almost kind of shiny. That's super strange. Um, and I'm opening everything for the first time on camera so that you know, I'm not, I haven't tried anything out. You can watch me take plastic off, though. I'll probably edit a lot of that out because y'all know how challenged I am. But this doesn't have a bad smell. It is super watery, a little bit tacky. I don't know how I feel yet. Okay, so then this is by Sante, I think. This is a complete cover natural finish foundation. The AOA Studio doesn't have a foundation. I'm terrified to put a $1 foundation on my face. So if my face burns off, I did it for the views, guys. <laughs> I did it for y'all so you could know if this is worth it to order. I see people all the time just ordering stuff off these sites to use for their everyday makeup. And that terrifies me. Like, some of this stuff I don't have much faith in at all like this foundation 
So it comes in a tube like this. Squeeze it out. Get a pretty generous amount because I don't know what the coverage is like. This is natural finish, so probably not too good. And I've got this uh, high def brush. It's an F4 from AOA. And I'm just going to use this to blend this all over my face. I do like the brush. It is super soft, very dense. It feels perfect for foundation. However, this foundation is not feeling very good. Uh, we're probably going to use a beauty blender on the other half of the face just to see if we get a little more coverage that way. Because as of right now, this foundation ain't doing much for me, except honestly, somehow making me a little more pale. They didn't really have any shades except for super light or moderately tan. There wasn't like a I'm pale, but like one shade darker. So we're just gonna try this with the Wonder Blender. We're gonna try it with this end of it and see if it goes on any better. Plus I have this breakout over here, so honestly I need more coverage on this side of my face anyways. Because my face has decided that I'm a teenager again. And I don't know why it did that, but it did. So this is giving me a little more coverage. This is definitely still not full coverage, but I guess it's a little bit better. So finish out the forehead and yeah. So this is not, <laughs> not even close to a foundation I would use every day. Sorry guys, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, y'all know that. But, uh, I mean, it's doing a little bit better than what I expected it to do. So, that's always a plus, I guess. But it's still not at all something I would recommend. Definitely not. Ugh. The sponge isn't bad either, though. It's pretty soft. <clears throat> Okay, so then I have got, well, they gave me a whole bunch of free nail polishes, which honestly just keep getting in my way in this little bag, but they came free with purchase, so that's cool. Um, but next, this is where things are about to go really, really downhill, and I can tell you this already. I bought the lightest shade of concealer they had and it is called Light Ivory. And I'm pretty sure it's darker than my foundation. But it was a lot of shade they had. So, we are going to attempt to use this. I have no faith, but you know, maybe, just maybe, it only looks dark in the package, but I doubt it. They were supposed to have a porcelain shade but I couldn't find one anywhere. Oh yeah, this is a uh, way too dark, but maybe it'll kind of act as a color corrector. So just so we can see this, their idea of light ivory is more like orange. Yeah. And also hardly anything comes out on this doe foot applicator at all. It does not smell good. My face is probably about to burn off. But it's okay. Enjoy the video. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to blend this in and uh, we going to see what happens. Let's dampen this thing up a little more. Okay. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so now my under eyes are orange. That's fun. 
But just so you can see how serious I'm attempting to take this, I also got the Perfect Translucent Setting Powder, which was a dollar. And we're going to try this on our face with it, guys, because why not at this point? This is fun. So, uh, and it went everywhere. Jesus. Okay, so we got some powder out. <laughs> Not on purpose, but it came out, so we're going to pick this up on our damp sponge and attempt to bake with it. Probably get some pretty heavy flash back, but who knows. And I'm using my sponge just because I feel like with the situation I've got going on, a damp beauty blender is going to be my best option but I did get this brush that I wanted to show y'all and it reminds me of the 4d kabuki from Sigma that's like super expensive except it was only a dollar and it's really soft and I really like it I could actually see that being a brush that I reach for and it doesn't seem to have any shedding or anything yet so always a good sign. So we're just going to bake the under eyes. We're not going to set the whole face. Honestly, don't even feel like it's necessary at this point. <clears throat> but I digress. Um, next we have got, oh, where are you? Okay. They did not have a bronzer or a contour for a dollar that I could find. They had like a contour palette thing behind the counter, but it was not a dollar. So we just got a darker concealer right here and we are going to use that to cream contour a little bit and see how that goes for us because, you know, it might not be too bad. And we're going to try that out um, just a little, nothing too crazy if it can be avoided. My shade might be too dark, but like I said, uh, their shade selection kind of really sucked so it was hard to pick shades out in these concealers for what I needed but we're going to attempt to blend this out with our same little sponge and see <laughs> if we can make this not be a muddy mess guys this is so bad So this is a muddy mess and probably, I would bargain to say, one of the worst ideas I've ever had. So we are going to take a little bit of this setting powder, if we can get it out, and just go ahead and <laughs> cut this contour and maybe, just maybe that'll help, but it is most definitely... A big old muddy mess and it looks like I'm spending my Memorial Day at home at home uh, this is bad <laughs> okay okay so this has got to be the worst attempt at cream contour I've ever had in my life and I'm really upset that I even did that to my face but <sighs> we'll make it so we are going to go ahead and just move along because what else can you really do? And we are going to take this blush that I picked up. This is by Amuse Cosmetics. It was a dollar. God, dollar makeup is just never a good idea. But it's like a really nice kind of, I don't know, corally color. It looked like maybe I'd be able to control it packaging is somewhat sturdy thought it might be okay so I'm gonna pick it up I got this brush that looked pretty okay for blush and pop some on it is not looking good guys 
this is a hot mess, but it's okay because we need to know what is good and what is bad. And so far, the only good I've found is these brushes. They are not half bad. Anyways. Mm. Oh, okay, so this is already making my face super itchy. So I'm not feeling like we're going to do a wear test today because it already feels like I'm having a reaction to probably the foundation or the primer or really any of it. Okay, so I got a AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter, and we are going to test this out. I have seen that these are pretty solid most of the time. I do not have a dollar brush to use with this, so I'm going to use an EcoTools brush and just pick some up. It's baked though, so it doesn't pick up very well. And go ahead and highlight. And that's actually kind of nice this i can get down with especially for a dollar i probably should have picked up a couple more shades but i did not and that's okay but that is actually kind of pretty i found something good on this go round, i suppose so highlighter a okay with me one thing <laughs> well highlighter and brushes so far <sighs> and then we got to get a look at this with the plastic off I'm a little scared of how this looks underneath this plastic okay so I got a sculpting brow pencil it has got a spoolie so that's fancy for a dollar and let's see what this tip is like okay so this is one of those triangular tips kind of like a brow definer pencil and I got it in uh, medium brown so shouldn't be too crazy dark we're just gonna fill these in real quick So that could definitely be worse. I can get down with this little brow pencil. We can be friends, that's fine. And I've also got some Go Brow Fiber Gel that I'm gonna go ahead and kind of sweep through and see what it does. I never use brow gel because honestly, so much of my brow is microbladed that I don't feel like it does me much good. But I figure why not try. So it's just like a little, almost like a baby mascara. And we're just gonna sweep this through where we actually have hairs. And maybe it'll darken it up just a tiny bit. Not that it really needs darkened up. But it might hold it in place a little better just to see okay that's not too bad not too bad might be able to be friends with that too um so i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips before i do my eyes because that's gonna take a hot second and i am gonna use i got several different options on lips just because this is something I do want to actually test out pretty in depth later on but <clears throat> for today I'm going to use this Wonder Lip Liner I don't know in likes um, I think it'll match the lip color I'm hoping to go for today so we are gonna open you up okay I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in just a little bit with this. Okay, so that lip liner feels nice. It's not tugging too bad. It is definitely a different color than what it shows though. 
which is an issue to me, but but I guess I should have just paid closer attention to the actual tip of the lip liner and I probably would have noticed that. So, you know, no biggie, no biggie. And we're going to go ahead and try out this $1 Wonder Matte liquid lipstick. I got kind of a purple-ish shade. You'll see why in a minute. I'm hoping that layering it on top of this pink lip liner will kind of change the effect of it. Okay, so this isn't bad. It's definitely very purple, even layered on top of that pink lip liner. It is still really, really purple. <laughs> so, we got purple lips today, guys. Just gonna be a thing. So, what I got next and why I picked a, what I thought was gonna be more of a lavender lip, is uh, I picked up an eyeshadow palette. That was also a dollar, which sounds like a horrible idea, but this is by Muse Cosmetics, the same ones that did the blush. And it almost looks a little bit like that purple Kylie palette, but we are just going to try it out. I think part of it is baked, part of it is not. It's falling apart already. It's like plastic pushed down in here with some little eyeshadow pans in it. But we're still going to try it. Um, we're just going to go in with this transition shade right here. Put that all over the crease. I suppose that is not too bad yet. Um, also, I don't have dollar brushes to do all of my eyeshadow with. Just a little bit of it. So I am going to use my Morphe brushes for most of the look. But if anything, gives it more of a fair shot to actually perform pretty good without any more added variables against it. So we took that. <clears throat> so now we're just going to take this lavender-ish shade right here and see what kind of pigment we get off of this. It almost looks like it has another color mixed in. It's really weird. Um, but we're just going to put this in the crease too and really fluff that out and kind of all around just to give that purple hue that I wanted, which is why I got this palette instead of, they had one other little non-pan palette, but I got this one instead. All right, we are gonna take this color right here. This is more of a true, like, really rich purple. And we're gonna pick up a bunch, tap it off, and put that lower down in the crease and see what happens. Okay, and then we're going to take this brown color right here and just put that in the outer corner. Maybe that'll deepen up this look a little bit. And that's actually, you know, shockingly enough, this is not, it's not good, but it's not what I would have expected for a $1 eyeshadow palette either. Like, I expected it to be a completely horrible, chalky disaster that wouldn't even start to blend. And I mean, it could definitely be worse, you know, it's not, not too tragic. I don't think I'll ever reach for it again, but it could be worse. I mean, and the colors, they're definitely chalky, but like here is that really rich purple. Like it swatches out pretty nice, not gonna lie. Like it could be a whole lot worse. But anyways, I got this flat brush to pack on a shimmer with, and I'm gonna use this top one right here. Not gonna lie that in this palette, these two colors are almost identical and so are these two. I mean, they're a little bit different, but so many of the colors are so similar, it's crazy. We're just gonna pack this on the lid. All right, I see. 
pretty okay. Um, now I'm going to take this little flat brush that I picked up and I'm just going to use this and take that really true purple right here and just smudge that on my lower lash line. Okay, and that is it for my eyeshadow. I did not pick up an eyeliner because all they had was the little um, like triangular ones with a little brush in it. I hate those. They don't work for me no matter what brand they are. And I also have an issue with eyeliner um, that's a dollar. That scares me. Which this should too, but I'm going to try it anyways. They had, and this ended up $2, but you bought it separate, so it was a dollar each. They have a two-step fiber mascara at Miss A. And we are going to try this and see if it's fiber lashy, um, just to see kind of how it wears. And I think this is actually going to be our last step. And that's really horrible because, I mean, this is pretty tragic. Honestly, if it wasn't for this situation here, this wouldn't be quite so bad as I expected it to be. But, you know, that happens. So, we are just going to go in first and put this pre-lash on. And I honestly don't quite know the difference but I know I'm supposed to do this first it smells really really horrible just a heads up if anybody gets this it smells like crap oh god ew ew I don't even know what that is. Okay. Now, this is about to be super fun. So, we're just going to take this and run it through. Okay, well, I'm definitely not a fan of this. It looks and feels disgusting and these little fibers are like actually little cotton ball things I don't know I can't but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on I mean it works but it's gross so uh, that did a little something for my lashes but not enough to justify getting these little cotton ball crap things that close to my eyeball sorry about it <clears throat> so the only other thing I got besides just a few extra lipstick colors that I haven't tried yet are these lashes which I really I don't want to try them right now I want to save them for later they've got some weird little wispies hanging off the end that I'm gonna trim off but I'm gonna see if <clears throat> maybe they have some potential to possibly be some lashes that I like now because they are super cheap but <clears throat> okay so here we go all things considered the foundation primer concealer thing I tried to use for contour and the blush and the powder are gonna have to be nose sorry guys I just don't like it um, the highlighter was bomb I like that the sponge and basically all of the brushes were super nice um, the eyebrow stuff was not half bad especially for a dollar if you don't have a pencil and you don't have much money and you just need an eyebrow pencil that's not bad at all the brow gel actually is pretty nice too um, I don't exactly know what it does but it's nice and the lip liner felt super good the lip stick I will get back to you on 
later down the road, y'all know I'm trying to do my um, weekly wear test on different matte lipsticks. We're going to do a wear test on one of these dollar ones from Shop Miss A that we leave it on all day with no touch-ups like always. Uh, we just haven't done that yet, but soon, guys, soon. So yeah, this looks horrible. You're not getting a wear test, I apologize. I do actually have somewhere I have to be today. So the face makeup's got to go. But I can definitely live with the eyes. They're not too bad. I wouldn't waste my money on that palette. But it, it was pretty decent for a dollar. You know, it was okay. Um, it didn't really blend very well. Pigmentation was all. The colors kind of looked the same. But it went on and it's alright. You know, it's fine. If you need some play makeup for like your kid or something, absolutely perfect. Don't hold me to that though because I don't know what ingredients are in it. But as far as quality, that's about where I would put it but you can make a decent look out of it but yeah so <laughs> that is it for today's video oh and I like the mirror <laughs> that is it for today's video I know this is super long but this is something that I have never seen one of these in person I've only seen it online so I had to go in and get everything I could for y'all and test it all out and there were actually some things that weren't too bad that I may even, if I go back that direction, pick up a few more colors later on. So I have to say, overall, I was kind of impressed with the fact that some of it's actually pretty decent quality and it's only a dollar. Because you don't have to spend $40 on one piece of makeup to get something decent, which is always good news. But I hope y'all enjoyed this disaster. Um, yeah, that is it for today's video. And I will see you in a couple of days. Bye, you guys.